Hello friends, welcome to another interesting C++ interview question. And today's question is, what is placement new in C++? Okay, and this is what I promise that I will explain in what situation we will explicitly call the destructor. Okay, if you don't know, you just watch this video and you will get it. So I have showed two cases here. First is the normal case and second is the placement new case here. Okay. So first we'll look at the normal case. So we'll see what this simple case does. This new is internally calling kernel, which means you are shifting from user mode to kernel mode. And then kernel is searching for the available space, whatever the space you're asking for. And the kernel will return that space. And then you will construct your object on that space. Okay, this is what happening here internally. But let's suppose you know that you will be needing at least 10 dynamic objects like this. Let's say one object one and then object two and object three like this. You'll be needing at least 10 or 100. You know that already. Okay. So is it advisable to call the kernel all the time and get the memory from the kernel? The answer is no, because switching is a costly process. Okay. From user mode to kernel mode and kernel will again search for the optimal place where to place this four byte object because there are lots of calculation involved. There is some fragmentation problem. Okay. That also kernel need to handle. So lots of things are there in backend, which kernel needs to handle just because of this dynamic memory allocation. And if you are doing it all the time, then it's uh, really overkill. So what is the solution for that? The solution is placement new. What do you think you should be doing in that case? You will ask 10 time of that memory what you need. Okay. So you have asked the kernel that I want 10 time of my base. So that kernel will return around what is the size of base. Base is having integer only. So it is only four and the four into 1040. So it would be something like memory is having 40 byte array okay so this is a 40 byte array you won't go and tell to the kernel that i want memory again and again and again no what you did you created a pool it's called memory pool okay so you created a memory pool whenever you want you will construct your object on that memory pool and whenever you don't want that object anymore you can just explicitly call this destructor this is the only reason you will be implementing or you will be calling this base destructor in your code. Okay. And it is very easy for kernel to search for 40 byte at one time instead of going four, four, four bytes 10 times. Okay. I think you got the point. And now I will explain you the syntax. New is taking memory. This is the memory location where you would be constructing that object. Okay. New is always two process. One is asking the memory from the kernel and constructing the object on that memory. Okay. So here also it's same only. It will ask the kernel and will construct the object on that. Here also it is same. But instead of asking memory from the kernel, you are providing that memory here and the object will get constructed on that. And one more thing guys, you cannot get away with construction here you will always have to construct the object. Just only you are getting away is getting memory from the kernel. I think you got my point here. Now the only thing remains is how to destruct that. So you have taken care of constructing. So it's your sole responsibility to destruct that. So for that case only you will be using destructor here. And the usually how we delete some array. This is the syntax for that. So you will in and you will simply destruct that main memory what you constructed in the beginning this is the whole idea guys so now we'll run this code and we'll see what is happening here okay compile and now we are running so the normal case is constructor and destructor as you can see here this is normal case and here it is getting constructed and here it is getting destructed so that's pretty simple here and placement new case this is your placement new case so i'm printing it here so Basically, you're constructing for three times. Okay. So this is that three time construction here. And after that, you are deleting it for three times. So this is three time destructor here. So I think we are done here. Thanks for watching and make sure you like and subscribe so that you will get the notification for upcoming videos like this. Bye bye.